I like to share with you my traditional kimchi recipe. It's going to be very easy to follow step by step so you can all start making kimchi immediately. Let's get started. First, cut the napa cabbage into quarters. If napa cabbage isn't available in your areas, you could also replace it with green cabbage. Rinse the cabbage in running water. Place in a quarter cup of Korean coarse sea salt. Pour in the water and whisk until dissolved. We have about half cup of Korean coarse sea salt here. Sprinkle a pinch of salt over every layer of the cabbage. Repeat with the rest. Place the cabbage in the salted water. And we're gonna grind until the white part of the cabbage becomes soft, flexible, and bendable. About eight hours. It also depends on the size and freshness of your cabbage. Salt will release the moisture inside the Napa cabbage. So it will stay crunchy for a very long time and it also kills germs. Rinse the napa cabbage in running water until all the salt on the surface has been removed for about three times. And drain until there is no excess of water. In a saucepan over low heat, add the water and sweet rice flour. You can also replace it with glutinous rice flour or octopus flour. Constantly stir until the paste becomes sticky and pasty, and bring it to a boil. Let it come to room temperature for about 20 minutes. In a food processor, transfer in the garlic, ginger, Korean pear. You could also replace it with apple, onion, anchovy fish sauce. Korean salted shrimp. If it is not available in your local grocery store, you could also omit it. Korean plum syrup. You could also replace it with other types of syrup or honey. Blend until it becomes a paste. In a large mixing bowl, combine the rice paste, spice and seasoning paste, and Korean chili pepper flakes. You can add more or less based on your preference. And whisk. Also place in the scallions, Korean radish, and carrot. Mix well. And we're gonna spread some kimchi paste on every layer of the cabbage. I like to be generous about it, but you can put more or less based on your preference. We are working on one piece at a time and repeat with the rest. Transfer the kimchi to an airtight container. I got my kimchi container from H Mart, a Korean supermarket. If you don't have this extra lid, you could also replace it with plastic wrap. To ferment faster, leave it under room temperature for about a day. Then place it in the fridge to continue the fermentation from 5 days to 1 month. It depends on how tangy and sour you want your kimchi to be. Continue to chill in the fridge for up to 3 months, or even longer. Mmm. 
This is chili amazing, really delicious. It's very refreshing, really crunchy, spicy, tangy, and full of umami taste. It's just so delicious. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you like it, subscribe and thumbs up. Also click on the little bell button so you get notifications of my new recipes. I'll see you again next week for another awesome episode. Bye!